Hey everybody, it's Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here. What I got today is I want to do a little test with my Pico Scope. It's something I just bought. I'm just learning with it. So with that, I'm going to do a pretty minor test here, but I do want to show just a little bit of its capability. This thing has a wide range of capabilities and can do a lot of stuff. Um, the particular test that I'm going to do is just do a battery test. For me, uh, it's neat to have this capability because I have so many vehicles with old batteries and if it can help let me know that the battery is good and that the charging system is good in what I'm using, it could help. Now, would you buy something like this just to actually check batteries? I'm sure you want but you have to start somewhere and since this has the capability of doing it might as well use it for that so we'll go through the setup a little bit here and then we'll test the battery alright I'm hoping that this will show up in the screen but up here we have battery test but the first thing we're gonna do is so you know what to do and how you're doing it if you go into the help and the contents and you look here you have tests and then you can go into your battery test and it goes through the setup of how to set it up introduction your connections and how to connect them and basically we're going to take the uh, amp clamp and put the amp clamp on the positive wire um, going to the starter and um, then on the other channel channel A we're just going to put our um, uh, cable to be able to uh, read the uh, battery voltage so there's the setup um, it even tells you you know connect the 2000 amp or 600 amp clamp uh, so I'll show you how to do that but that's where you go to find out the information on how to actually set this up to do it so let's set it up and I would think that it goes without saying the first thing you have to do is actually set the software up on your computer because this is PC based you have to hook the PC the Pico scope up to a PC or a laptop um, and you use a USB cable to do that so that has to be done first so I'm gonna hook the blue wire up first and this is the cables that are supplied um, actually the blue cable is supplied now I bought my kit from AES Wave and I bought the kit that has a lot of this stuff included so you'd, I didn't have to buy it separately but I'm gonna put my black alligator clip on the negative and put my uh, red on the blue and then I'm going to hook them up to my battery the other the BNC connector will then go into my PicoScope now the next thing is the um, current probe and it has an arrow on it so you want to put that towards the um, towards the flow going to the starter the power flow and this here I will hook up onto channel B in my scope and I will hook this up to the positive the proper way and uh, one of the things I did learn is um, make sure you turn this on because we won't get too good of a reading if you don't but I'll put it on the 2000 amp setting and I will hook it up to my positive down here and I'll get you a better picture of this but I mean you, and you'll see and I'll show you and then I'll hook this up to channel B on my Pico scope um, I will hit the battery test now up here in the corner and this opens up your preset stuff now what you got to do before you start is down here I'm not sure if you can see it but it asks for your voltage your type the battery temperature cold cranking amps and the units so it is a 12 volt it is lead acid we'll have to check the temperature we'll do that in a minute the cold cranking amps because I looked uh, I think it's 700 I'll look again uh, yes our cold cranking amps are 700 and then to take the temperature I'll show you how I'm gonna do that so I'll just take my temperature gun here 
and it's in Celsius, so we'll get a reading on it. Um, we got 7.6 Celsius, so we'll just put in 8 on here, and we'll go from there. Now while I'm set up here, I will just show you, there's my positive, there's my negative, here's my amp clamp, make sure it's still on, it still is. So we got all that done, we should be able to and ready to take the battery test. I will point the camera towards the PC while I do it and just go in and crank it, let it start so that it can get all its readings, and then we'll come back, we'll look at this next. Now we got the readings on it. We got state of charge 100%, digital vo voltage 12.7, lowest voltage is 8.54, gives you the voltage drop, maximum current, um, internal resistance, your condition is okay, uh, charging, it gives you the charging at 120%. So you can actually see this. And if you'd have a garage and somebody's asking about their battery or their charging system, you could certainly give them this to show them what their state of the battery and the charge is. And, you know, the you got your graph up here, of course, that you can look at. But to me, the you know, the numbers down here giving you this is what you really will help you if you look at it or you show someone. I realize that for anyone who uses the Pico Scope or has used it, this is pretty rudimentary. But what I like is that it actually lets you start using the scope and getting used to using it. Because as I've, I'm going to do some more tests and I've done some tests, I'll probably show in future videos how to do that. They are just some of the basic tests. But one of the things that I'm learning is even though this software has prepackaged tests in it, you have to know what your vehicle system is. So when some of these guys such as Keith, Scanner Dan, or Eric O, they tell you that you have to know the equipment that you're testing and what kind of system it is, be it, you know, a waste spark or or whatever that's very true and you do have to know this stuff and figure it out which can take some research if you're new to doing this type of stuff so that's my experience with the Pico scope so far I think it's a pretty cool tool um, yes it's not a cheap tool anyhow this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic saying you know if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. I appreciate it. You'll hopefully see more with the Pico Scope in the future. Thanks. Oh, you dirty, rotten bull! bull how could you break off? You dirty, rotten mother! Oh, dirty, rotten! How dare you break? Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Son of a... Oh, I can't believe it broke off. Jesus. No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic.